How you doing everybody? It's Jim here with Catch Feeder and today I'm with Clint and Jimmy here. And guys, I'm going to show you a little video clip. Okay. Okay. What did you think of that? It surprises me the, the number of people that uh, yeah, just don't realize you stay in your vehicle when you're in an accident like that. And I that. think that's where we're getting at. Yeah. On a day like that, yeah, that's the safest place to be is inside your vehicle. I know that a lot of times you're probably traumatized and you want to get out and you want to see what's going on or you want to help somebody out, but big picture, the best place for you to be is right inside that is vehicle. inside the yeah. vehicle yeah. whether you're in a big truck like this feeder tractor or whether you're in your personal vehicle right. in your automobile right these these they're 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 crash cells they're meant to absorb impact right right your body is not no um, in that video you see this that gentleman not only get hit once not twice not three times but four times he almost gets, gets hit. hit. Right, right. Where the best thing he could have done for himself stayed right in his vehicle. Was just stayed in the vehicle. Yeah. So what do you do if you're in a big truck and you break down on the interstate? Well, I try to get to a, a ramp, the closest ramp if it's not too far away and the truck is running like a blowout. I'll go on the ramp. See, that's so much safer than being on the side of the road. So try to nurse it to the next exit right. if you can. Right. Yeah. If you, if you can. can't, if you can't, the best thing you could actually do is is cock the tractor toward the ditch. Okay. Right. And probably then jump over in the passenger seat with the seatbelt on. With the seatbelt on. And after you put your triangles. Out. After you put your triangles yeah. out. And never turn your back to, to traffic. traffic. Right. right. Ever. Right. So, if you're out there with your car and you happen to have a breakdown, try to make it to the off ramp as much as possible, even if that means riding the uh, the shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. And if you can't, stay in your vehicle. Stay on the passenger side of the vehicle with the seatbelt on. Just in case as, there's an impact. You can get as far off the road as you possibly can. Yeah. Okay? Be safe out there, everyone. The sound that night, the crying tires, the busting glass.